ask you ah, do you know what is a seagrass? No, that's a seaweed. I'm asking about seagrass, you know, S-E-A-G-R-A-S-S. <sighs> you also don't know. Plenty of people know about seaweeds and algae, but not many people actually know about seagrasses and what they are. The biggest misconception is that they are the same as seaweeds. And they are actually completely different. <laughs> Hi, I'm Samantha and along with Team Seagrass, I monitor and research seagrass meadows in Singapore. Well, Team Seagrass has about, I think, 40 to 50 active volunteers. We monitor three of the largest seagrass meadows in Singapore, three times a year. And you get people as young as 19 to as old as retirees, all sorts of people from all walks of life. What people don't know is that seagrass meadows are incredibly important at trapping carbon dioxide, but they're actually more efficient at doing so than rainforests and coral reefs. People don't know a lot about seagrasses. It's mind-boggling to me as well. But for some reason, they have a charisma problem. And because of that, they get less attention in the media and research gets less funding. So today we're going to Sarin Reef, which is one of the largest meadows that we have in Singapore. So Sarin is a very unique location because it's a patch reef, uh, which is found just off Pasir Panjang Port. And because it's a patch reef, it's not attached to any island. During the low tide, the reef will just emerge from the sea. And during a few short hours, you can actually access it by boat. The seagrass meadow there is really large and it's really diverse. And huge amount of biodiversity that can be found. You often see stingrays swimming in the shallow pools of water. They're becoming so rare uh, in Singapore and all over the world that because they're increasingly threatened. What often strikes me as strange is that people would be so angry if we decided to knock down parliament and build a new building. But no one seems to get as angry when we try to reclaim a seagrass meadow that is many, many, many times the age of our parliament building. That to me is important in preserving. This is all as much part of our history as any building that we have in Singapore.